Hi, right, today we're just doing the, this real quick video on coding the new steering rack on the 2011 BMW X3. So the steering rack was replaced because I had a lot of play in the rack. So we're after replacing the rack now and now the electronic power steering, electric power steering won't work. It has to be encoded and programmed to the vehicle. So first we're just going to go into diagnostics. So, Euro, BMW, just go diagnostics first, so it's an F-series, F25, we already have the battery support unit and all set up on the, on the vehicle here as well, so just go auto detection, so picking up the vehicle, X3, F25, enter, so we'll go whole system search, all control units, enter. So a display complete, only to display systems with fault codes. So we have faults in these in these different systems. Um, just go in and see what we have in electric, electronic power steering. So we have EPS coding, the control unit has not encoded. Um, I'm not going to bother going into the other control units, probably all be faults relating to the EPS not being coded. So we'll go back out of all this, go out into the programming section. Programming coding. Uh, so BMW coding, E series, F series. So it's just going to take a while to read the car. So we'll go system select, chassis, uh, electronic power steering, so we want to go encoding. The selected ECU will be encoded after you press enter. Do not press exit. So we have result of encoding success. Encoding is finished. For some ECUs, some file codes will appear after coding. These file codes will guide you to do some service functions. The ECU will work normally after doing these service functions. So enter or exit. So we can go back out to diagnostics here now again. Clearing all the codes. So now, uh, after coding it, uh, after coding it now and starting the engine and our power steering is working now, but we have a, a message or a fault up in the dash. So we're just going to go in, we probably have to do a, maybe steering angle calibration or torque sensor calibration on this. So we're just going in and just check the faults again in all the systems. Systems 
search. So we have faults in the power steering here. EPS control unit initialization fault steering angle directional stability not learned. So we we'll go out here into service functions and do this. Service functions, <coughs> chassis. Steering angle one first, maybe. So, maintain the steering wheel position level, deviation not more than 10 degrees on a flat surface, steering wheel not obstructed, ignition on. The execution must not operate the brakes. Press enter. Ignition off. Wait 10 seconds. Ignition on again. Enter. Steering angle calibration was successful. Optically align the steering wheel horizontally, wheels in straight ahead position. Check the zero position of the steering angle. So we'll, we'll just recheck the alignment and everything now when we have this done as well and make sure that the steering angle is in the zero position when it's straight ahead. Press enter to continue. Calibration completed. Exit to leave. Just gonna start the now zero. Fault's gone. Yeah, and our our message is gone is now it's gone off the screen. So that's it. All I need to do now is just go back in and just clear clear all the file codes and everything should be okay. Thanks for watching.